Hello everyone, welcome back. In my last video I showed you how to draw this cute owl and now I'm going to show you how uh, to color it with markers. Uh, first, um, I'm going to fill in the pupils of the owl's eyes with my trusty Sharper E marker. And that instantly draws the eye in. Now we've got a nice focal point here of contrast. Lovely. Um, I already picked out all my colors beforehand, but I'll show each of them to you so you can get an idea of what they look like. This is a yellow, of course. Kind of a golden color. Um, I'm really not sure the whole range of um, eye colors. I'm sure there's quite a few, but I'd say yellow is a safe bet to start with. Next I'm starting with a uh, fleshy pink color for the beak and for the uh, talons, the, the feet, the toes. And uh, you'll see that um, they're going to go really well with all the other colors I've arranged. It's kind of a warm palette here. And next I'm going to go ahead and fill in the branch. Um, I'm kind of working from light to dark here. Uh, this brown is actually a very light sandy color. Uh, when you're working with markers it's generally easier to start with what's lightest first and then uh, use darker markers later because if you color over darker marker uh, stuff on paper with a lighter marker it could mess up your lighter marker um, just all sorts of silliness happens so always start from light to dark when you're coloring with markers and I'm kind of coloring in a rotund fashion here to give some volume to the branch that's one way of doing it you could also just go straight across whatever you're comfortable with I'm gonna try a little of each there Oh, go away fly. Next I'm going to color in the leaves. I've picked out a couple of different colors. Um, I've got this nice bright green color. And I'm just going to randomly select leaves. Uh, if you go out in nature and you look at trees, especially right now if it's fall where you live, um, you'll see that there's different shades of green, you know, the, the leaves are changing color, some of them are darker, some of them are going lighter, kind of a yellow color, and then of course there's your, your oranges and reds and yellows going on. In this uh, particular drawing I'm going to keep it green. This one's a darker green, like an olive color, and already it's creating some interest to the leaves. You know, it looks like this owl is already in its natural habitat with habitat with this fly flying around. How about that, hmm? And I'm just taking my time enjoying the process of coloring. The hardest part is over, you know, the design work. Now all I have to do is color like it's a coloring book. Okay, that's done. Um, next I'm going to take this kind of corally color, it's like a coral orange, and I'm going to color around the eyes. I'm taking my time, I'm not in a rush, I'm enjoying just coloring. Nice and soothing and relaxing. This is usually when I like to play some quiet music like Enya or, I don't know. Is something relaxing. Moya Brennan's good too. Let my mind wander while I color. There we go. And now I've got this burgundy color. I'm going to color in the rest of the owl. 
and you can probably see now how all the colors are tying in together um, they're all warm um, so they're harmonious working together oh go away fly you know what this is one of those scented markers maybe that's why he's hanging around Well, it's starting to cool off here where I live, so hopefully I won't have to be worrying about flies for a while. They will be non-existent. And this is um, kind of where the... Uh, the hard part of markers comes in. It's one of the things that I've always had trouble with when it comes to coloring with markers is you can see the layering. Um, it doesn't look really even. You know, it looks like you, you've got these funky little choppy textures going on. And you don't really get that problem with colored pencils or if you work with paints. You know, you can, especially acrylics, you can work that out, but markers are tricky. So, uh, uh, that's generally with larger areas. Smaller areas are easier to deal with. I think it's just because the ink from the marker dries so quickly. Overall, it still looks nice. It's very bold and bright. I do like markers for that. I like how bright everything looks. Catches the eye. Okay, I'm taking another yellow. It's kind of a, a almost like an orange yellow and I'm adding a little bit of depth to the eye here anyone who's done manga anime eyes probably is already familiar with this technique and now that the ink has dried on all the leaves I'm going back to outline them with this very dark evergreen color um, I really like all these lines that are moving and flowing around in the picture so I don't want to uh, under you know under represent them I really want to emphasize them and it's the same here just like uh, with the sharpie marker uh, you just point and pull you get a little bit more leeway because uh, you're not having to draw a solid line this is more for um, emphasis and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of shadowing here the brown nothing too heavy I uh, don't want to distract from the owl here on the tree just enough to give it some dimension on the underside of the branch and of these little twigs here growing off on the sides. There we go. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm going to go back with the uh, pink here and do the same thing. Just add a little bit of shadow. Nothing heavy. Just enough to suggest the illusion of form of three dimension do that on the beak as well. There we go. See how that looks? Almost looks like a relief now. And I'm doing the same thing with this coral orange here. Just I'm going around and adding an extra layer of the same color to give it some give it some depth. Really makes the drawing pop. That contrast, the values. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go back with my burgundy and do some outlining around the eyes, or the feathers around the eyes. It's looking really, really good. 
if I am going too fast, um, you know, it's okay to take a break and go back, pause, and just watch over and over again. I tend to have a quick workflow. If I don't work quickly, then it doesn't turn out as good of a drawing. So, you know, take your time. And I'm putting some shadow here under the feathers. There we go. That looks good. Put some under the tail. Now it looks like the uh, tail's in the background there. Really pushing it there. Isn't it funny how values help push things forward, or push things back, or bring things forward? That's pretty neat. But yeah, um, just uh, practice. If, you, if you're not getting the drawing right where you want it to be, do it over and over. You know, keep keep trying. So there you go. Uh, that's how I like to color my cute little screech owl. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this lesson. I certainly had fun creating it for you. Y'all have a great day and remember you can has draw.